<gasps> yes! Please! Oh, no reason. Kitty. Oh! Hey, baby! So cute. <laughs> oh, baby. Oh! He landed on his feet, it's fine. Hey. Good night, Mr. Grumpy. Did right. someone say we're pros? I think we're pros. God. Mm. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hey, how's it going? I'm Maddie, this is Matthew. Okay, so today we're doing a QA and a on our wedding. Mm-hmm. Um, you've already asked us some questions which are in your question box on, mm -hmm. Instagram. on Instagram. So, without so, further ado, here we go, because it. we've just tried saying that so many times so and that was just so difficult. First question, let's go. Okay, so first question is, do you have a colour scheme? If so, what colours? So, a lot of people recently have been doing this and they've been asking all their guests to wear black but I'm not going to do that, I'm just thinking like just something, just classic black tie colors. event. Yeah. Like just, so I'm thinking like black, white, white and maybe like Sage green? I don't know. My bridesmaids are wearing sage green from what I know at the moment because we haven't bought the dresses yet so I don't mm -hmm. like 100% know but it's kind of colours. We want yeah. it really like fresh Classic and clean and looking. Nice. Yeah. yeah. And Classic mostly. Yeah. We don't have any like theme, just like a typical black tie event, yeah. just like super formal. Go all out. If you want to wear a gown, you wear a fucking gown. Like, yeah. go all out. We don't care. Yep, yeah, that's first question done. Second question, we've got, do you think you found the dress? Now, I have, but I haven't tried it on yet. Um, I'm actually, we're flying over to Melbourne in a couple of weeks so that I can try it on and see if I actually want to like place a deposit down. Um, to be able to buy it and get it made for myself um, but I just want to see what it looks like first because I might like it on Isabel Mathers but I might not like it on me so that's what Did we're she? doing so obviously Matt's not gonna actually see the dress we're all going over so his dad, his mum, <coughs> um, Mahalia, his sister and myself are all going over and Matt and his dad will do his like their own thing and then Mahalia, Rose and I will do like the dress fitting. Yeah. So me and dad will do probably suit, suit shopping, shopping most and likely. I'll like I've had it planned in my head that yeah. when I'm over there while you're looking for your dress mm. I'll actually go shopping for a suit. Question number three mm -hmm. are you doing a first look? No. Mm -mm. <laughs> no. no. Um, not that we have anything against it but just want to feel that emotion that first when we first see altar. each other yeah, yeah, for the first time in like a week or however long it is yeah. and seeing each other in our outfit for the first time yeah. in that moment while everyone else is seeing it for the first time mm. as well. I just think exactly. it will be so much more pure and just raw. Deep and yeah, raw. everyone will see his first reaction as well. Like yeah. it'll just be so emotional I think for the both of us and for our families as well. Yeah. Um so yeah, I just, I don't know, it would take away from it otherwise. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Thoughts on kids at the wedding? So, we will. Um, it's probably not practical for a lot of couples to probably have kids at their wedding. I totally understand why you wouldn't have kids at the wedding. Um, but I have so much family that have younger kids and there's no way I couldn't. There's no way nah. we couldn't. And I think weddings are so exciting and so special. Like, it would be sad to not have them there. I think it's just, it's family. Like, I feel like it's just a given for us to have kids at the wedding because that's the majority of, like, our guest list yeah. anyway. Yeah. <laughs> because there's just so many families with kids. Anyway, that's my answer on that. Mm. Okay, question number five. What do you think of the ring? We haven't actually done, like, a video of us, like, talking through our proposal or anything. Like... We probably should have sat down and done that. Let us know if we should do that because we can definitely sit down and tell you our story um, of how Matt proposed and mm. like everything that was involved. Um, but yes, absolutely in love with my ring. Like he got it down to a T on like the detail. So I just, it's so gorgeous. But yeah, I haven't really like shown you my ring on camera. I'm absolutely obsessed with it still to this day. It was everything that I asked for and everything that I kind of like mentioned. Mm -hmm. And it was a lot a lot bigger than what I even like asked for or expected or anything like he really went all out and I'm just so grateful. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
so incredibly grateful. It's such a gorgeous ring. That's the answer I want to hear. Yeah, absolutely. In love with my ring. Like, couldn't have done a better job. Mm. Um, sixth question is, how was the wedding planning due to COVID? Mm -hmm. We haven't had anything... Any dramas, because... No. Anything stopping us either? We, like... Yeah, we knew when we wanted the wedding and we knew nothing was gonna... COVID wasn't gonna stuff anything around. No. At the moment. So... It, yeah. Well, we kind of planned in advance thinking, like, COVID shouldn't, like, get in the way by then. We should probably yeah. have a good, like, vaccine rollout and we might have, like, restrictions that are eased. We might be living with it better yeah. um, by that time because it's, like, the end of this year too. So, like, planning it back in what... May last, May last year, year, which is crazy because we probably saw our, we probably looked at our reception hall like a month after we got engaged. Yeah. And so many people were like, oh, that's so soon. Like, that's so fast. I'm so glad that we did because we wouldn't have had any time to go and no. visit the venue afterwards because it was locked down and locked then it down. ramped up to Christmas. Yeah. So I'm so glad we did it when we did. Mm -hmm. But... Also, just planning for the boxes and, like, um, booking people and in terms of all of that was kind of good during the four-month lockdown that New South Wales had because I was able to just sit in bed and just book everyone. Plan. Just get it all done. So I did that in the middle of last year, thank goodness. Plan and that's why and I've, plan only, and plan. I've only got, like, five things left to worry about now. So I'm very... It's all just fallen into place. Falling into place. And yeah. that's how we know that it's really good. Uh, yeah, like, it's, it's a sign. Be. It's a meant, it's meant to be because the world's not against it. It's just yep. rolling out really nicely. Letting like, it it's, flow. It's and, happening really nicely yeah. and falling into place. So, yes. Yeah. Seventh question... Um, wedding cars. So we have three cars, all the same. Uh, it's a Rolls Royce Silver Cloud in white, mm -hmm. and we have a sedan version, and then the convertible, which is the same as the sedan, just a convertible. Mm -hmm. And then we have the limousine. They're quite so pretty. They are so cool. Yeah. And just <laughs> classic old wedding cars. Mm -hmm. And I always dreamed at my wedding that I would have an old Ro Rolls Royce. Mm -hmm. And, like, just being able to actually get them mm. is just... Oh, Look them up if you want to, because unless I, like, pull up a picture, like, you might need yeah, to just... Just search up a white Rolls Royce Silver Cloud, and you'll know straight away. Mm. Most of the images will come up with the wedding ribbons on the cars. Like, they're just classic wedding cars. Mm. Always used as wedding cars. And it's cars. nice because they all look the same as well. They're just kind of, like, different yeah. sizes. So it's yeah. not like we're thrown off by, like, three different looking cars. Yeah. It's the same, same model. Yeah. Same model, just different build. Someone goes, where's the honeymoon at? We don't know yet. Um, that's not usually something that people say. Yeah. But we're thinking just something, like, super tropical. Tropical. We were definitely looking in, like, Australia. But it is so expensive, expensive. to travel in Australia. So we're thinking it's probably going to be cheaper or the same amount of money to go overseas. But, yeah. We looked at Hamilton Island and it's like, to stay at Qualia is so expensive. Yeah. Like stupid amount. Stupid expensive. Like, that's something that we might do for an anniversary. Yeah. I just... I can't comprehend that money after the wedding to just yeah, spend that much more on the honeymoon. Yeah, after all already spending. God. Anyways. Okay, so question number nine, I think. We've lost count. What is the worst thing you could imagine happening at the wedding? You go first. Um, maybe... The only thing that's coming to mind is mm -hmm. just my mates getting way too rowdy and just making <laughs> an absolute scene in front of her family and then just thinking, like, who is my Madeline marrying... Like, they are your friends. mates, though, so Dad's not going to, like, worry. Yeah. But took the words straight out of my mouth. That was exactly <laughs> what I was going to say. Or even, like, turning up drunk to the ceremony. Yeah. Um, or getting too drunk before beforehand, so like meaning that they're all just standing at the altar, like drunk and giggling. Like that would be the biggest nightmare. And I was only talking to Dad about this the other day too. I was like, if that happens, I'm kicking them off that altar, and they're leaving immediately. They can go skull a whole heap of water and come back for the reception, but they're not going to be standing at that altar, making a fool out of us. Yeah. So yeah, that was that is the biggest. Yeah. Worry. Um, At least we're on the same page. Oh, 100%. Question 10. What's your fave parts and your least fave parts of the planning process? Favourite part? Favourite part, part planning is just fun. So fun. Putting the boxes together mm -hmm. was so fun. Mm. And then, 
least favourite, definitely. Knowing the money. Knowing the money. The cost. Oh, God. Question 11. Have you chosen a date slash venue? We have. We have Obviously. done both. So we've got a date, but I'm not going to be sharing that for the world right to now. know. Just right now. That's only just for the family to know and anyone that wants to actually just come to the ceremony because everyone's welcome to the ceremony, just not the reception. Like, that's invite only. The ceremony is going to be held at... Churchill Anglican yep. in the city. So then, it's a massive old Massive church. church. It's beautiful. beautiful. So everyone's obviously invited to the ceremony because that's like anyone can come to the church and yep. watch us get married. Randoms can walk in and literally. Um, <laughs> um obviously the reception is just like invite, invite only. only. Um and that's gonna be at Curzon Hall, so um, in Marsfield. Yes. So it is a beautiful venue, do yep. your stalking, like it is gorgeous. Um, awesome. Yeah, we're so awesome excited place. and we've got like the main ballroom as well, so so beautiful. That place, Curzon Hall used to be a, a, big, a mansion. A man someone's yes, mansion. Someone used to live the there. In the 1800s. It's like crazy. It was so nice to just like learn the history behind it as well when we went to visit and have a look at it. It was just yeah. insane. So crazy. It was crazy that we went. We didn't look at any other venue. We went straight to Curzon Hall. Straight we were like, there yeah, and this is yeah, where we're having it. Like took the package and we left and we were like, we'll be in touch. Mm. Talk to you soon. Yep. So we were like, yep, save the date. Yeah. We're taking it's it. Ours. We're paying the deposit. Yeah. That'll be done by the end of the week. Thank you. <laughs> but anyway, that's all we have. Go to part two for this. Just like leave more questions. Yeah, in the comments and we can try and like make another video. But otherwise that's all we have for right now. Mm -hmm. Um, thank you for everyone that left their questions in the box though. Like it was such a last minute decision when I decided I wanted to do it. So massive thank you. Um please like, subscribe and do like all that fun stuff down below. <laughs> um, follow me on TikTok and Instagram, Instagram and, and subscribe and like and comment and, and comment and share and paste and copy and we love you all. Thank you for supporting us mm -hmm. and welcome to our journey. It starts now. Good night. Love you all. Mwah.